dot and why Terry Stevens. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? <laughs> Who do I admire the most and why? I would have to answer that quite truthfully and honestly. I would have to say I admire my mother the most. For the last 19 years of doing female impersonation, my mother has always tried to keep my life and her life open enough that we would still stay as good as friends as we are today. When a certain man in her life had passed away, the closet door opened and my mother accepted me with open arms. Last, shush, queen. <laughs> Last fall, I went on tour with the Great Imposters, and it was my mother's first time she had ever seen me perform in 19 years. I admire my mother because she raised three of her own adopted, three from a second marriage, and one also between the two of them in that second marriage. She's a smart and loving woman, and for her to open up her arms and take me as her son, even though I wear a dress and love me, even, even though the amount of crap and bullshit we've been through in the last 19 years, I'd have to say I admire her the most, and that is why. Ladies and gentlemen, I am contestant number three, Terry Stevens. Jaja, if you become Miss Toronto Continental, what would you do for the gay community? Good evening, everyone. I am contestant number four, Jaja Shamor. If I shall become Miss Toronto Continental, I will use my talent, my beauty, my wit, and my poise, and I will pull the Toronto community and the Buffalo community where I am from together and closer because we all need unity in our life. Thank you. The transgender community is becoming very marketable for the mainstream corporations. Where do you draw the limit? What won't you do for a sponsor? Nuri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nuri Suarez, and I'm glad to participate in this pageant as contestant number five. Thank you. Well, first of all, the first part of the question it deals with transgender issues. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not transgender. I'm very happy the way that I am. But uh, to, the, the, to the answer of the question, where do you draw the limit? If it would compromise my morals as an entertainer on uh, treat, treating people correctly, treating them amicably, and having it done back to me, that's where I would draw the line. And if it compromised my uh, self-assurance of knowing that what I was doing is right and stick to what I know is right, then that's where I, that's where I could draw the line. Thank you very much. I am your contestant number six, and my name is Armani. Thank you. As for the question at hand, how have I made an influence on my community in the past? Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, growing up, 
I came into the world and I felt very, very alone. My whole life I was isolated by the other kids. I was told, go play with someone else. Um, you know, you're a freak, you're a faggot, and we don't want to hang out with you. So as the years went on, I, I learned to, to talk to myself in times of need. You're beautiful! <laughs> myself in times of need and there was a time when I needed a role model and I couldn't find one so I had to look in the mirror and look at myself and learn to love and appreciate the person that I saw looking back and once I was able thank you once I was able to do that I realized you know what I'm not alone I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are in the same boat as me who feel the same way and ladies and gentlemen, I was the very first transsexual there to get breast implants and to start the path that I was living. And it, it was very, very hard. I was discriminated against, not only by the straight community, but also by the gay community. But I knew that this is who I was, this is who I had to be. And I said, forget what everybody else thinks, I have to be true to myself. And eventually, all of those closed-minded people started looking at me for who I was, for the challenges, for everything that I had to endure, and they, they began to respect me. And simply by being myself, I think that I paved the pavement to walk on. And if I am to be crowned your next Miss Toronto Continental, I will continue to do that. I will personally take the time to get to know each and every one of you. I will make you understand me. I will make you like me. I will make you love me. <laughs> and in return, I will love you for who you are, regardless of what you are. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, judges. I'm your contestant this evening, number seven, Ginger Monroe. To narrow it down to one particular queen, I have been around for 10 years doing this craft that I enjoy so much. That's what brings me here tonight. And so, to carry out the question, Angie Douglas, not very many of you know this queen. She died about five or six years ago. And uh, she taught me all I know today. And through my journey and the three hour tour, I'm here, Ginger Monroe. Thank you.